Whether we admit it or not, we've all got one person in our family or one close relative that is so stupid. <laughs> it could be a law. I don't know. It, my uncle's that way. His dream in life is to own a two-story mobile home. I told him, I said, Robert, I'm not sure there's even such a thing. He says, well, they ought to be for people that's got money. <laughs> oh, he's an idiot. He was watching television one day. They had a commercial come on to promote a movie. They said, coming soon to a theater near you. And my uncle said, now, how in the heck do they know where I live? <laughs> Scared me. My uncle could not find a job and could not keep a job. He fill out a job application where it says nearest relative, he'd put 12 miles. <laughs> you know where it says in case of emergency call, he put like 911. <laughs> <laughs> and get this, one night, one night, we was at his house, and there's a lot of people there, it was his birthday. And he was in a good mood because he got some new underwear, new socks. <laughs> and an oil filter. <laughs> that aggravated him because he don't have no car. <laughs> well, anyway, the, the Muppets had this TV special. Miss Piggy comes on the TV screen. Uh, bless you. <laughs> Miss Piggy comes on the TV screen and my uncle says, uh, I bet you that's not a real pig. <laughs> And you know what annoys you? You can't argue with him. Well, Uncle Robert, I believe you're right about that. <laughs> well, hell yeah, I'm right. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I've been around pigs all my life. A real pig wouldn't wear a dress like that. <laughs> Not with them shoes. You know. <laughs> as long as I can remember, folks, he's been that way. Years ago, when we were little bitty kids, watching Saturday morning cartoons, Bullwinkle would be on, and my uncle would go, well, hell, that ain't no real moose. <laughs> we were just little bitty babies sitting on our diapers like. <laughs> but we would nudge each other and go, there's a dumb ice right there. We just. <laughs> 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 and the dumbest thing he's ever done, some years ago, Labor Day weekend, he wrote a story in the paper that's talking about how 75% of all fatal, fatal car accidents occur within 25 miles of where you live. So the idiot moved. <laughs> he said, that ain't gonna happen to me. <laughs> 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 <laughs>